everybody welcome oh my gosh so it has been a crazy two weeks first of all I'm running late sorry second of all I have been having some crazy issues with my um, devices since I upgraded so my stuff hasn't been uploading I haven't been having videos upload they've been getting lost in the ethers and thank goodness mercury retrograde ended on Friday because who knows how long that could go on for so I hope you guys have been having a fantastic week we have been holding space even though the energy has been a little cray and that's why we're here, right? And so even though I'm running late today and we've been kind of all over the place, I had a kid sick last week in the hospital, so there was all kinds of stuff going on, but it's all good, our colds are gone, we're better now, and we're holding space even in the craziness, right? Even in the overwhelm, even in all the things. So wherever you are, whatever you're doing, I'm gonna invite you to take a moment to get settled, to get grounded, to regroup, to reground, to rebalance yourself. And just breathe in. And we're going to focus on peace. Our goal for this meditation each day is to find peace within. Physical peace, mental peace, spiritual peace, emotional peace. So lean into the meditation practice that suits you, that you feel most comfortable in, that you feel really shows up for you, that you connect with. And focus on peace. Fantastic. I am so glad that you're taking this time to show up for yourself. Hi, Joanne. Oh, I miss you too. Um, and you're just taking this time to really settle yourself, settle your energy, to regroup your energy, to refocus your energy, to redirect your energy, to really lean into the space of peace and show up in that space, to show up fully for yourself and to show up fully for everyone around you. I know that you hear this all the time. I know that I say this all the time. If you can't show up for yourself, 
you can't show up for anyone else. If you are not showing up in the space of caring for yourself, having compassion for yourself, having empathy for yourself, and all of the other things that go with that, you can't fully do that for anyone else. You can't fully show up in those spaces for other people because you're not completely connected to the emotions or the actions. And so taking time out to really come into a meditation practice that serves you, that suits you, that supports you, allows you to move into the space of seeing these emotions, of honoring these emotions, of allowing these emotions, and not getting stuck in them. Everything I do, all of the tools that I use, the practice that I use, the modalities that I use, the emotion codes specifically in the bigger picture, are tools that are at points some people say, well, I need to get down in the darkness. I need to get down in the mud. I need to come all the way to my knees and come completely apart. And at times, yes, that's true. But when you recognize you keep going to the same place over and over and over and over and over again and the challenge is always the same challenge over and over and over and over again and it comes up at the same time of year even when you've done the work you have an imprint from an emotion you have an emotional stamp or a trauma or a inherited ancestral or past life connection to a space that is not serving you and that you alone may not be able to get to the bottom of. I collaborate with many other healers and many other people utilizing different tools like Reiki and tapping and meditation and guided meditation and coaching and all these different things and we all work with each other because I can't solve all my problems and they can't solve all their problems on their own. But together, we can see our issues from an outside space and then lean on our tools to allow ourselves to come to the space of letting go of the energetic connection and the emotional impact and the emotional stamp and the space of being stuck in those reoccurring issues and we allow ourselves to release it. We allow ourselves to let it go. We allow ourselves to see it, acknowledge it, release it, and let it go. So in the big and small of it, when I'm utilizing the emotion code, when I'm utilizing the body code, I'm allowing you to go through an easy and effortless way of moving into that space of letting go, of releasing the stamp, of releasing the lock, of breaking the chain, and just moving forward. It's not that we are ignoring our emotions, it's that we are not going to be held hostage by them. And I say that in the most loving way because a lot of people have resistance to this. A lot of people get really upset when I talk about this because they're, everyone has to go through their own things. Yes, absolutely. I totally agree with that. I have done it for years and years and years, decades upon decades and when it comes down to it the big and the small is is when it keeps coming up over and over and over again and it keeps taking you to your knees over and over and over again you need help you need an outside source to help you and that's what I'm here for that's what I do you have to be able to come to the space of acknowledging that letting go is not always going to be done by yourself we are all self-healing we are all able to heal ourselves it's just sometimes there are tools that other people can use that can help us to move through that space and to acknowledge that space and sometimes we just don't know what we're doing and so we're like oh my gosh i don't even know where to begin just help me right and so there's no shame in that and there is no reason that anyone should be putting anybody else down for any of these things and so when we show up in this space each and every day to show up for peace we are not only aligning our vibration we're aligning our energy we're aligning the law of attraction we are aligning our social groups, our communities, our mental stability, our emotional stability to come into the space of peace. And when we do that, we draw more of that into our life. When we show up to release the emotional impacts of our lives and we let them go, because if you've ever heard this before, it takes children hear the words no 
or have negative things happen 10 times more than they have yes and positive things happen. This is statistical facts. These you can find everywhere on the internet and in any of the um, children's science things. My super awesome white page terminology right there. Um, but in that space, what you're gonna recognize is that those imprints and those impacts are affecting you all through your life. So why not let them go? Why not release them? Why not raise your vibration? Why not choose peace? Why not move into the space of peace? Why not embrace that and be of that with ease and grace? So I hope you are having an amazing day. I know it's Wednesday already, you guys. It's the week is flying by and I'm totally okay with it. I hope this gate energy is treating you well. If it's not, touch base with me. I'm doing a gate release um, and that is fantastic. And the dark moon release was incredible. Oh my gosh, the people who attended the um, new moon release on Saturday also got a dark moon release bonus and it was so incredible and so many people were were having the impact of it and could literally tell before we were even done they were like oh, I feel like a whole new person I'm like I know um, and so if you have questions on that our new moon is come and gone but our full moon is coming in the next two weeks we will be having our full moon release with Val White and it's gonna be incredible because it's the last full moon of 2018 so I hope you're having a fantastic day love you see you tomorrow